shake off Broadfoot. Yes, he can! Two with Larson. John Larson lays off the shot! John Larson wants the goal! By Simon Donnelly. In for Henrik Larson. And the rough kick! Samaras is there. Georgius Samaras wants to touch his square cross. Can he finish? Yes, yes he can! Georgius Samaras! Now Sutton sets up Larson here. Larson. Oh, he's in! Henrik Larson! That is sensational! And welcome one and all to a brand new episode of the Celtic Voice. It's been quite a while since our last one. We've been away for a wee bit. Uh, we're back now for quite a lot to talk about because um, yeah, it's been quite a wee run of forum going. So I'm Phil, along with Greg. Hello, Greg. Hello. Uh, welcome back, sir. Uh, so the last show I opened up by asking, has it been good enough? And the unanimous answer there was no. Nope. Between the two right. But I think the question for this one is, what have we learned from Celtic this season? Because... As I say, bit of forum recently, bit of a mixed bag. What have we learned from Celtic and Ronnie Dyla so far? It's, it's, well, it's been a transition period, really. Mm. And I know the last time we were on, we were, it, was, it, it wasn't good enough and we, we were right to, totally. to have a go. But since then, I would say he's brought back a bit of the spirit. Of, I don't, whether it was still there or not, and they just the players were just maybe hiding it. Mm. He's brought back the spirit of the just digging in and getting results because mm-hmm. there's been a lot of games since the last time we've been on there's been a lot of games we've maybe not played too well but um, we have ground out results and it's it's not been one of these ones but it's been a, a totally terrible performance it's mm-hmm. just been one of these typical you've seen them under Neil Lennon you've seen them under Gordon Strang mm-hmm. you've seen them under Martin O'Neill not played well well not played badly, but they're still drug it, drug it the result. Yeah, they went ugly, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's how they do that. But anyway, we'll go through the domestic forum. We'll have a wee break after that. Talk about the European stuff because obviously we've got a big game coming up this week, and we've got a few news stories. Certain draws and certain cups on yonder horizon yeah. might be catching the eye a little bit. So yeah, let's go into the domestic stuff. Unfortunately, the first game that uh, when we last left off for the last show, the next game we were playing in the league was against Hamilton Ackies. We lost one 0 Greg, comment on that one. That was God, dis- it seems so long ago. It now. does, doesn't yeah. it? It really, really does when you look at it. Yeah. But um, yeah, the last time we did a show was right before the Dynamo Zagreb home game. And then the next domestic yeah. game that followed was Hamilton Ackies. I mean, that, the Hamilton game was terrible. Yeah. The thing is, I thought I, I wasn't, wasn't overly. I mean, I was raging, we lost. Yeah. But we, 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 we still made a lot of chances. That, the way we were playing at that point, because obviously things have got a bit better since then. But that was one of those games where Hamilton scored that was still. A whole half to go. It was pretty much early in the second half. I just knew as soon as they'd scored, you might as well just shut up shop now because we are we're done. We're not going to score here. This is one of those days. I think Stokesy had quite a few guilt edge yeah. chances in that game. Unfortunately, they went a begging. But luckily, in the next league game, we made up for it by putting five past Ross County. We made a bit of a discovery in this game as well that Stefan Johansson is a lot more effective playing in that Chris Commons role than he yeah. is playing in front of the back line. And that's why I can see Commons going in January. Definitely. I don't. I Definitely. Don't, I don't think uh, it's in the week when he's playing at the weekend. I don't think he was really involved in it. Or well, it, it did help. He did set up the goal, but uh, mm. for the first one, so that, so fair play for that. Yeah. It's just the way. He's, he's, I don't think long term he's fitting into Ronnie Dyler's no, system because not. Johansson's. Much more agile uh-huh. and uh, mobile in that position yep. as well, and you've seen the way he got in behind Aberdeen mm-hmm. for the equaliser up there. He he, he was really like, he showed good pace to get in behind, and then he scored. So yep. I, I think yeah. that's that that's seeing that kind of yep. goal f- from the uh, Johansson will maybe yep. maybe spell red for Chris Collins. It might do, uh, but yeah, that game up at Ross County, obviously Gadetti further endeared himself to the fans scored the opening goal that day did the celebration that he did for the Sweden under 31 team Gozala, yep, yep. Uh, also we saw goals for Denier that day McGregor got one and Stokesy got two yep yep. good performance so, but Ross County this season they are, they're a write off I think they're gone so that was that was a good win though because we yeah, needed it at that point yeah, we did badly need it. Needed it, does, it it didn't really matter who it was against we, it, needed, we it needed something totally totally but we followed up there the next um league game was against Kilmarnock and yep. once again much like the Ross County game we made another discovery John Gadet is pretty handy at a free kick isn't he <laughs> yeah yep. although the game most definitely swung 
on the red card that Kilmarnock course, got yeah. when Skepovic was full on goal he got tugged down by Pascali yeah, and think... Gadetti just steps up and bang no no problem at all I right. think Kilmarnock were fair to say they were right in the match up yeah, to that point yeah. but to be fair um, it was a good bit of play we 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 forced the sending off mm-hmm. with a good pass that sent Skepovic through and it, it would have had a shot it was right, totally right decision it would have had a yeah. shot at goal um, and it did change the game in our favour so it did it did because you're totally right I, I was at that one and you could see Kilmarnock you know they were getting more confident it was going on as soon as the red card came though you know uh, yeah, it just swung the game it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's bad getting a red card but mm. for any team but then to concede that f- right from, from it right from it it's just t- <laughs> took the wind right out of them some free kick as well yeah. given where he placed it given the angle he was at yeah one of the things because the guy next to me me and him were like oh is this going to hit the wall is it going to go over what's going to happen here stuck it in the net yeah, oh, Jesus superb and another goal was uh, Skepovic scored yep. another one good so, finish uh, yeah, good buy it there. Uh, what's happened with him was he injured or is he I think he's I don't think he played, I don't think he's fancied for the uh, league game mm, right okay so at the moment I know he's got to play the European games cause he yeah he'll play league. he'll play against Salzburg I'm, I'm, I'm oh, sure yeah. he will yeah he definitely will but uh, we followed up the win against Kowarnock with an absolutely rousing 6-0 victory in the League Cup against Partick Thistle yep. another game which up to that point Thistle were doing okay then they got a red card and um, the game just they just imploded after that and it was a deserved red card I know they yeah. appealed it we scored, we scored no... first then they got the red card yeah, so, no, they did. Yeah. but the, the sad thing about this game is it was in the League Cup there was only about 15,000 people there and it's one of the best performances this yeah. season it was riveting they to usually watch usually quite drab affairs these League Cup games so, e- even, I mean that well I'm mo- sure the next round won't be though yeah. really great <laughs> Yes, we'll talk the about Mort- that later on. The Morton game, obviously, last year was <sighs> that was a drab affair. Then we obviously lost it, but no, I, f- I feel sorry for anyone that wasn't at the party Pistol game because it was it was a really good performance. It and was. The goals were just there wasn't even a apart from maybe that one at the end. You know, all goals, all, you could say all goals are good, but that one for Griffiths right at the end, the <laughs> one that just hit right off of the keeper. Do you know the amount of times I've been shouting at our players to close a goalkeeper down? That's the type of stuff that happens if you close a keeper down, but they never do it enough. Yeah. Keeper can make a mistake, but if it was a Gadetti hat trick, two free kicks and a penalty, yep. those three kicks, the second one especially, the goalkeeper didn't even move. As soon as it came over the wall, you're like, this is in. You just knew it was in. And even Emilio Izaguirre scored the goal. Yeah, that was have, brilliant. Have you see. seen the picture of him celebrating and the look on Mikel Lustig's face where he, he genuinely like cannot believe <laughs> that Izaguirre scored a goal? <laughs> Lustig seems to get right in with it when the goal celebration. Oh, that's excellent. I found a doubt but um, nice we go from Izaguirre actually you know yeah. nice we uh, it was, it was elongated 1-2 yeah. we'll call it <laughs> he was uh, he kept Johan- his run going Johansson at the, at the centre of it I would say Johansson again had a good game that night I mean for the Griffiths header the pass that he played across the field to Izaguirre uh, or oh, was it Izaguirre I think it was Izaguirre and then the cross and then Griffiths for the diving header the back post That's brilliant right. absolutely brilliant goal uh, but we went from a 6-0 after a rousing victory followed up with a, a bit of a turgid 1-0 against Inverness which you would expect against Inverness because they are a bit of a staunch team to play against yep. but all wins count Gadetti got the goal here yep, uh, it was a very good goal yes it was it was uh, Tempers kind of flared a bit in this game as well because um, there was a few moments when Gadetti was getting yeah, the wind up I think after they, after they scored they realised they needed to, they needed to do something about them and, mm. and I think, I think it was he, he of Inverness he gets stamped on yeah, um, yeah. Was, I can't remember who it was but it was something to get held back because he um, was so raging I mean he was right I, to I break. was I'm sure it was that boy Draper that plays for Inverness the two of them were getting each other's face because I was thinking at that point we looked like we might have scored again and I was like see if Gadetti scores again he's going to make sure he finds that boy on the park and celebrates right in his face just like he did with the boy for the French under 21 team yeah yeah oh, he was definitely going to do it now this game coming up was because up to that point obviously we had a couple of good results this season like the win against Ross County Fissel Dundee and Adele in the season but I think this game next was one that really turned the corner for a lot of people on Ronnie Dyla the Aberdeen game now this is one that I looked on the calendar and I went well given Aberdeen last season and the media loving that's going on with that club at the moment where they seem to think Aberdeen are a big deal all of a sudden and Derry McInnes has got them doing pretty well so I was like okay this is a bit of a worry this game and when we went 1-0 down we weren't playing well I was like Jesus, this this is going to be a bad one. This is not our day, but uh, we ground it out even with ten men, and we won it with one of the coolest finishes you'll ever see. Yep. fantastic! And the celebrations afterwards, 
just you saw how much it meant to them, and I was delighted because a few people in the media have said that oh Celtic went overboard with the celebrations against Aberdeen. No. no. They, they want to play with the big boys. They think they're a big deal all of a sudden. Well, we're going to treat them that way. Yeah. We're going to bloody rub it in their face when we beat them. Absolutely. Uh, and did it, people are asking, oh, why, why did Ronnie die? The cynics say, why, why did Ronnie die? Celebrate like that. One reason you could say is obviously the fact that he was such a big win. He put, mm-hmm. he put down a really big challenger. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was also told there was another reason for the celebrations. Right. The, maybe why they were he was doing a wee bit more a bit more passion a bit yeah. more passion yeah supposedly Derek McInnes and uh, Alan McCoy but I have some kind of youth game together right sitting in the stands and we're having a laugh at Ronnie Dyler's expense saying oh what's he all about with his, his methods his way mm-hmm. of training and yep. his, the, the, his eating stuff some Celtic scouts were in, within earshot of this right okay in the stand and they fed that back to him right that's why he wasn't really interested you've seen it after the game mm-hmm. against Aberdeen he wasn't really interested in going to him That's, you can see McKenna shouting him back like, yeah. to go shake his hand but he wasn't really want, he mm-hmm. wasn't wanting to so yeah. that's another well, it's, it's came from a pretty good ah, okay. a, a pretty good source so. right I didn't know that I had a feeling there was some motive behind it but I thought it was more to do with the critics in the media like former Celtic players who we'll get on to later who've been very very critical of Ronnie Dyler I think he was just trying to show he is passionate because the fans yep. even want to see a bit of passion and the whole it wasn't just him that was passionate the whole the whole team was as well good ending but what about Van Dyke's finish yeah well back heel flick oh and it was fantastic he tried to he tried to play it down in the in the interview as well. He, oh, he yeah. says, the, "I think the guy said to him, was that just a normal? Was, was that just a tap in?'" He goes, "That I think so." <laughs> <laughs> I liked it when he got asked, like, "Oh, how big how big a win is this?" And he went, "Yeah, we're back at the top of the league, where we belong." Yeah, I was like, "Yes, exactly. This is where we belong because we've been fannying about too much this season, yeah. down in the doldrums of sixth place." But no, I love the celebration. though where he's just like, "Calm down, Aberdeen fans." No, just <laughs> they were absolutely beeling, but the the, the camera instantly cut to. Uh, Denny McInnes' face and all brilliant absolutely brilliant yeah. so delighted and obviously the red card I don't think it was a red card for Scott Brown I don't think it was no no that was a, a, I think McGinn's played for that oh yeah he's, I mean, he's I, brushed I, against I would, Brown he's I would say he's used all his experience but Brown, Brown, Brown is older but yeah. he's, he's used he's, he has used a wee bit of, he's been a wee bit clever there just mm. cutting inside and then just yeah going down going McGinn down. was causing us a lot of problems as well at that yeah. point he was actually cutting in quite a lot and uh, I know you like that move cutting yeah. in from the, the wing on the, op- the opposite foot you know and yeah. uh yeah, it was cause if they hit the post from such a move, but um, no, we with ten men on the park. We seem to just be galvanised. I agree that the first the first booking from Scott Brown or yeah. was a booking, yeah. but that was that needed to be done because that mm. uh, Paul it was any sort of contact. He had done it right at the start. Any sort mm. of contact he was going down, so he needed he needed uh, to know. Well, to be fair, Peter Paul it does spend more time on the deck for Aberdeen yeah, than actually he's... on his feet. He's notorious for it. Yeah. Uh, what about Stokesy getting booked and all for giving a wee bit of chat back to the fans? I, I think that's I ridiculous. Think, yeah, I think they couldn't wait to. Oh, I know. Uh, it's just ridiculous that fans can abuse players all they want, and if they do something back, I know, like it, it, wasn't, like it, wasn't all even, it wasn't even a bad thing either. It was no, just. It's just not at all. They were smiling about it, so obviously it, was. it wasn't that bothered. I was kind of wishing Stokesy stayed on the park for the final goal because I think he would have loved it right up in their face. <laughs> he hey, would have made sure he rubbed I will, it right say, in. I will say this about I mean, obviously he scored at the weekend, mm-hmm. and he's playing in this sort of left sided forward role. Yeah. He's four two three ones the thing nowadays. He's got to play it. Yeah. It'd, I'd be actually interested to see the amount of goals he's set up this year. Mm, Rather, yeah. I, know he's, I know he scored five, but he's up at Aberdeen. The one he he, he did that he cut inside for the left. For Johansson, and he sent Johan, he, It was absolutely. He, he done it for mm. Gudetti mm. in St. Uh, St. Mirren. Yep. Uh, just he did, did the it reverse. Was so I, I, I think mm. he's uh, people. People always point to goals. Say, oh, he should still be scoring goals. He scored. He has scored five goals. Yeah. Maybe he would have he's wanted. He's not to... playing as a striker anymore. He's yeah. playing as a wide midfielder. And I think, I think he's really doing well. That he's he's creating a lot yeah. of chances. Yeah, no, totally. I think he, I'll give him a break there because I've been very critical of Stokesy. Um, but I think as a striker, I think he's looked lost without Gary Hooper. But that might yeah. be a better role for him out wide because he's got. I mean, he's got someone with him. We use mm-hmm. a Gary. It's not not yeah. it's, 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 in fact well it's not a partnership because mm. if he's a gear he goes to f- far to Isle of Park Stokes will need to come back and yep. vice versa totally. so the two of them are like not really well yeah and if Stokes is coming inside he'll see he's a gear mm. going 